Welcome to the, to the Eurovision, Eurovision Song Contest! Sono fuori di testa, ma li danza da loro E tu sei fuori di testa, ma li danza da loro Hello, Hi, Anna. I'm Toy. I'm Goy. My name is Urika, I'm from Belgium and I'm a huge, huge Eurovision fan. Hello, I'm Jim Kennedy, um, YouTube channel Eurovision with Jim Kennedy. I'm Leet. I am the host of a Eurovision channel on YouTube called Eurovision Fields. It's so calm. <laughs> <laughs> I am a big fan of music and I love to hear music from different cultures, different faces, different places. And I just love the idea of lots of different unions and countries coming together um, for one massive celebration of music. It's really, really cool. I love seeing just the mass of like representation from different styles of music, different languages, different just people coming together to show what they can do. And whenever that all comes together into the show, it just is incredible to see the variety of the things that Europe can prove, like we have. At Eurovision, you can really discover a lot of artists that you would never find otherwise. There's just something fun and so unique about it and so Europe as well. Yeah. The, makes it makes it feel really special and it's, yeah it's like nothing else so my first eurovision that i watched was in 2003 and i watched it from pretty much from the beginning right through the end when sir tab erina won with every way that i can which is one of my favorite eurovision songs ever as a kid we always watched it and it was one of those things you're like, yeah, I enjoy it, but I'm not going to yeah. scream and shout about it. And then the older you get and the more you start to not really care what people think about you, you go, I love this. I was a Eurovision fan in the closet for many years. <laughs> My first Eurovision memory, I guess, is Nina Sublati Warrior in the final where you couldn't see her, but still that song is one of my favourites to this day. And obviously Mon's winning, like, yes, heroes. I don't want to sound nationalistic, but the UK are actually bringing something quite good this year. Watch out for the stage. It's going to look um, rather interesting, I'll put it that way. Let's go. Hola, mami. Well, we love both of us. Really, really love Spain. Spain song this year is a banger. Song ah, this year, yeah. Chanel. I'm hoping, I'm rooting for Spain to win yeah. after so, yeah. so many years. They, you know, and just to get a good result as well, yeah. because Spain do try really hard. Yeah. And the last few years they've had a really rough result. I think I'm rooting the most for Norway. I think they really embody the Eurovision experience. I do think that it's between Sweden and Spain. I think Spain is a hot, hot favourite and Chanel is awesome. We can't not talk about Ukraine. That song gives me goosebumps every single time I listen to it. Just the way they rap and sing and bring so many just ethnic Ukrainian pieces of art into the performance grips me every time and it's definitely one to look out for and no wonder why it's first in the odds. If they win it should be because of the song. Uh, I think that's the most important. Uh, but I, I would love it if they won because I, I think they're genuinely really good. Oh, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. It's just a big party. If, if you can, I would just invite your friends and have a party and watch it together. Even though the level of the song sometimes can be a bit, mm, um, it's a fun night. It's fun, and it's there is night. nothing that compares to the yeah. drama of the results. No. Yeah, as soon as the results start coming in, so you're sat there like, this is it, this is what it's all about. Just enjoy it for what it is. Enjoy the different music tastes, the different music styles, no matter what you like. Enjoy the show and just lean into everything that's different and fun and interesting. I would say enjoy it, uh, live in the moment, embrace the wacky, embrace the weird, and just, um, yeah, don't take it too seriously. It's a lot of fun. Yeah.